by uh, Mr. Bannon here. Now today we're just going to go through uh, a calculator investigation that's going to help you with your investigation on the TV. Um, this is uh, a shot of a rugby field and a rugby field basically is about 100 metres long and 68 metres wide. Um, today's investigation goes through the concept of if you score a try in the corner on the edge of the field what happens is you're able to uh, have a shot at goal once you've scored a try and you can come across or come back along this line here as far as you like. All right? Obviously if you come back too far you won't be able to kick the ball that far but um, what we're looking for here is the best angle to, to actually score your goal from. All right, That's what we're trying to do. So that's the picture there. So we need to work out what this angle here alpha is and this angle here beta. And obviously this angle in here is going to be beta take alpha, which will allow us to do that. Now, we know the dimensions of the rugby field. So if you're looking to that post there, it's 36.75 metres from the edge. And to that post there, it's 31.25 metres because that gap there is 5.5 metres wide. This D is the thing that we're going to allow to, we're going to set. We're going to set this D and work these angles based on this over here. Now we can do this calculation one, like uh, set a D value and do the calculation once. And I suggest that you do that in class. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do the calculator bit. All right, so we're going to do all the calculations in one time. And here is basically what you need to do. All right, so um, I'll need to um, just show you how that works in the calculator. Um, so hopefully it makes it a bit easier for you. So I've got my calculator here now. You might, in you to go to your calculator, you might find that you actually have some lists, uh, some data in your list in your calculator. So Simply all you need to do to get rid of that is you need to, you might be there, so you need to go up to the top here, see it's covered on the L1 there, alright, and you go clear and then enter and that will get rid of everything in your in your list, alright, do the same thing for any other list that you got, so press clear and enter and gets rid of all of the things at once. Now, you can either enter this as it's shown on the sheet. Or you can just come here and go 5, 10, 15, 20. So we're going to go up to 50. The reason why we're doing that is probably not many people can kick further than 50 metres anyway. Certainly from this wide out, that would be probably a very big kick required and not likely to happen. All right, so nearly there, 45 and 50 so what you've got here is you've got list number one which has got the values this is my d values all right so when we go to our our sheet in the next column we want to put our beta <laughs> values our beta values relate to the biggest angle and so that's going to be the biggest distance over over the d and we have to do tan so it's inverse tan to do this actual answer so here we come over here and we want to enter a formula that's going to do all of these at once. So see how I've gone up to the top, that's highlighted there. We've got a formula down the bottom there. So what I can do now is top in my formula. So it's going to be inverse tan. Beautiful. The distance is 36.75. And we're going to divide that by list number one. Now you'll find list number one, which is shift or second function one so that list number one so what's going to do is substitute five in there and then I'll substitute 10 and then 15 close the bracket and go enter and it actually works out all the angles for us all the one go so that's really cool we we'll do the same thing for the next one we go up to the top here it's highlight up there we then go into our calculator inverse 10 all right, so this one here is 31.25, divide that by list number one. So second function, number one, and close bracket, and that will actually work out all of those angles there. 
Now list number four is where we want to work out the difference between these two angles. All right, so list four is going to be the big angle, take the small angle. So it's going to be simply second function list number two, take list number three. And enter, and that will actually work out all our angles for us. Now what you can see here is uh, looking at our angles there from the width, from the from the edge, it's going to be roughly about 35 meters. Okay, now um, it's obviously increasing there. It may even be between 30 and 40 meters. So what you could do is you could do the same process and start at 30, go to 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and you might even be able to narrow in. On that distance but the biggest angle we've got the biggest kicking angle we've got is about 4.6 degrees and that's roughly at about 30 meters all right so this is a really cool way of using technology to save you lots of time so it's really if you do the one calculation it's like doing the one calculation but over and over and over again really quickly um, the same process works in Excel all right so you're doing the same thing in Excel and that's possibly what you'll be doing in your investigation when you do it on the TV. All right, so that's essentially what you have to do in order to use technology. Now, obviously when you're doing your investigation, if you want to use a graphics calculator, you can. Um, only thing is, um, to actually uh, better show what you've done, you might either need to use an online uh, generator like the one I'm using here, or you'll just need to set up a table and you'll need to, to write your values in, all right? Or type your values in. So it's up to you. Uh, I think Excel works quite well, so it's not all that much different really from what the calculator does here. So anyway, good luck with this. And, um, you know, this the activity, as I said before, was designed to try and help you with your TV. So the TV activity is about where do you put the TV on the wall for the biggest viewing angle. So if it's sort of put the sideways, I suppose it's really the same sort of activity, um, but it's just slightly different. Anyway, good luck with it, and uh, we'll catch up with you in class.